Hi Sagittarius, I'm your host Tina. This will be your April Love Tarot reading. So I am trying things a little bit different today. Um, please let me know what you guys think, how you like it. You can definitely leave it in the comments at the bottom of this video. All right, so Sagittarius, this is going to be your love reading for April. We are going to take a look at the recent past, the current energies, and then the near future, what is coming towards you both. Um, these are love readings. So I always remind people, doesn't mean that it's romantic, although they often are, but really anybody that you're thinking of, if the reading does resonate with you, if any parts do, then take those parts and trust that they are for you and leave what doesn't resonate. All right, Sagittarius, let's take a look at the recent past. What's going on for you in April? Where are you coming from? Where are you currently at? And what is coming towards you? All right, let's stop it here. We got nine of cups at the bottom, a sense of satisfaction, well-being, also nine of pentacles here, interesting. Five of pentacles. Okay, this is feeling a bit left out, right? Um, yeah, feeling like we're on different teams in a way. Oh, feeling a little bit out of our comfort zone here as well, Sagittarius. So yeah, you have the nine of pentacles. You know, in a love reading, it's difficult. Yeah, it could be about your independence and your self-sufficiency. But with that, we also have the five of pentacles. And so that's just feeling like in whatever this relationship is, there's definitely a disconnect happening, but there's also a feeling of like being undervalued with the five of pentacles, um, you know, feeling like you're left out or like you're like, or even like even the last one to hear about things, right? Even just in that sense, kind of left out on the cold, right? Like not included in a way or not, not seen or like heard or validated or like supported all of that kind of energy, you know? Um, and so, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles with it too. So it only adds to the, like, you know, Nine of Pentacles is independent, but paired with the Five of Pentacles, it's almost like feeling like you're alone and that's kind of present. We also have the Seven of Wands. So there is a bit of like, definitely defensiveness, um, definitely like kind of sticking out our chest here, taking a stand. Um, and then, you know, with this one, I like to point out that you have all these six wands below. You have you here or them here. But the point is, it's like you versus them, them versus you, right? It's like you guys aren't on the same side. And then we have the three of wands here. So it's like, I don't know if you guys have been recently trying to like make some moves here with the three of wands or if you guys are waiting for the right time to, you know, kind of shift things or navigate things in a different direction with that three of wands. Um, or if it's just felt like you're just completely out of your comfort zone, you know, there's that energy as well. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's about stepping out of your comfort zone. Also trying to like, look at things from a higher vantage point, you know, maybe we started entering that energy with the three of wands. Cause you know, this guy's standing on top high really has a bird's eye view here. So like the ability to kind of see the bigger picture in a way, right? To also see like upcoming challenges, upcoming opportunities, you know, just to see things in a wider lens. And so, yeah, I mean, it, it's coming from a kind of difficult place recently um, and certainly not feeling like we're on the same team. Um, it, it, it goes from being single slash independent to borderline feeling alone here as well. All right, Sagittarius, let us see what is in the current energies. Where are we at currently, Sagittarius? This is for April 2021. So let's see. I have a very um, calm energy today. So I don't know if it's you guys or if it's me, but I do have a very like calm energy. All right. We are gonna stop it here for you, Sag. What do we have at the bottom? Boom, the lovers. 
there is a lot of love, right? For some of you, there's no doubt so much love. Um, but you know, what's love got to do with it sometimes? No, you know, I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding, right? Love is very important, but as we all know, it's never enough. All right, Sagittarius, there you are, King of Wands. Um, there you are. All right, I feel like currently, um, currently we're trying to figure out things. That's where you're at, honestly. What, you know, we have the Four of Pentacles, but we also have the Seven of Cups. So there is this like, you're, you're figuring things out because there's, there's like so many energies that you guys are navigating right now, honestly. We have the Four of Pentacles kind of revealing this like, somebody is stuck here or unwilling to um, change with the Four of Pentacles, unwilling to move, an unwillingness to bend here. And it, it's, it's causing them to be kind of stuck, right? Um, so there, that energy is very much present. Like, and then with with that stuck energy, it's like, it's like the heart chakra here is blocked. You know, the crown chakra is blocked. So if you can see those, and so it's just like, it, it's not allowing things to flow. And then we have like this whole other energy of like fantasizing with the Seven of Cups, right? Which is kind of also borderline confusion with this card. So. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of like going back and forth energy as we're dealing with something here. There's a lot of day-to-day -day energy, a lot of day-to-day -day energy. But the Seven of Cups is really like kind of hoping and dreaming and wishing about your future and like trying to see what you want and asking yourself, what do you really want? What can you really have? What's real to have, right? But it's, it's a lot of being in your head, right? Like not grounded in reality. And then this one is like psh, totally unbending, unmoving. Um, and there's so many pentacle energies. So I just feel like this relationship right now needs some grounding. Um, and the queen of pentacles is here right now. So this energy will provide it. You know, this, this is, um, this is a very nurturing energy. Like look how she looks at this pentacle. She cares about it deeply. It's very important to her. It holds a lot of value. And so that energy is here for each other. Um, and, then, and then in addition to that, we also have the King of Wands here. So this is introducing an energy here that's very flexible, that's very visionary, that takes action and takes the lead. Very kind of the opposite of this Four of Pentacles. So it's like, how do we get out of that? Is this an invitation to like kind of be like, hey, this energy is available. We should try that a little bit more. Is it just representing you here, Sagittarius? Feeling stuck, feeling confused, but knowing that something means so much to you and just like, what do I do? Where can I go? You know, um, difficult, right? Um, difficult. Even a little confused, I feel like with where we stand. Um, and like I was saying, there's this energy of like kind of needing to ground things. And meaning like it just feels like things are up in the air. They're up in the air right now and we're trying to give them like um, form, right? We're trying to give it shape and form and definition and meaning. And so that's what like I'm like we need to ground it and we need to root it and we need to say what is this? Let's give it a name. Are we going to water this? Are we going to nurture this? And so that's what I'm saying like it needs grounding. It's very up in the air. Um, okay. And maybe you're just at the stage where things are up in the air and that's okay too. All right, let's see what's in your near future here. And let me give these a few shuffles. Coming towards you, Sagittarius. All right. But yeah, it just feels like we need to ground it. You know, one thing I noticed so far is that there are no major arcana here. So that's really interesting. All right. Let's stop it here for you. Two of Pentacles is at the bottom, right? Back and forth, back and forth. Kind of in the air. Yeah, the moon is here, confused. Unsure. I don't think things are very clear right now. Um, near future. 
near future, I feel like we're still kind of trying to understand what's happening here. There's still a level of um, uncertainty, you know? There's still a level of uncertainty. Now, the only major arcana that has come out is the moon here. Um, and so the moon is one of the most difficult energies to navigate. So I feel like this is the dominant energy for your relationship reading this month. The moon is tricky, right? Um, and as you can see, it's, 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 you know, shedding its effects on this relationship this week. The moon speaks of like, you know, sometimes just fear of the unknown, but it's here to teach us like that not everything is as it appears. So when the fears come up and the dark thoughts come up and, you know, the things that we thought we've gotten over or they were things of the past and they kind of resurface this month. I think like just take a moment to remind yourself that we're dealing with the moon energy. The moon scares us. It doesn't have a lot of light. It sheds very little light. So we're busy looking for the light. We're trying to trust our instincts, but then it also brings up our animal nature. And so we have to know the difference. And so, you know, with the moon, just remember that things are usually not as bad as they appear. Um, I think that's the most important lesson of the moon, that you can't even trust your own thoughts and fears. So whenever they seem too dark or too heavy, just know that this too shall pass. And I can see here with the Six of Swords, Sagittarius, that there is, there is going to be this ability to move on to calmer waters emotionally, mentally, energetically in general. Um, and you'll have the ability, I think, to detach yourself from a lot of heavy emotions with that Six of Swords. Um, but yeah, you'll be connecting to your spiritual side, definitely. You'll be much more connected to your shadow self with the Queen of Wands energy being present here as well. We've got the King and Queen of Wands here representing Sagittarius. The Nine of Swords is here as well. It's that moon energy in full action, full on display mode. That's, that's the moon there. So that's why I'm like, just remind yourself when it comes up that this will pass um, a lot of the heaviness of these feelings and these thoughts, it'll go away. It'll like evaporate with a little bit of time. Um, all right, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there for you, Sagittarius. Um, let me know what you guys think about the changes with this reading, how you liked it. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope this helped. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for my regular weekly tarot readings. Bye.